Hey, it's Andrew here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about social security changes, the next two stimulus packages, and daily news updates as well. We have a new stimulus proposal that would put $4,000 in your pocket and $8,000 for a married couple. We also have updates on the next stimulus package and the American Families Plan and an increase in social security benefits. So let's discuss the details in this video. But before we do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I also have a second channel, so if you could do me a huge favor, click on the link that's in the description of this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. I'm going to be giving away a stimulus check on that channel just as a thank you for supporting my work. Okay, so in this video, we're going to cover the new stimulus proposal, which would give you a $4,000 stimulus payments for every single adult and $8,000 for a married couple and would not require you to have kids. This would be similar to the monthly child tax credit, except you would not have to have kids. The only qualification would be making less than $90,000 per year. But before we jump into that, let's do a quick update on the next stimulus package. Remember, Democrats are working with Republicans to do this physical infrastructure bill. That's going to be a bipartisan bill that's going to be done with Democrats and Republicans. Once that's done, Democrats will then do the American Family Stimulus Plan, which could include a variety of payments like monthly stimulus checks, monthly stimulus checks for Social Security, monthly stimulus checks for families with kids, potentially a fourth round of stimulus checks, and a variety of other things like free college, free preschool, and more funding for low-income housing. Now, we've had a lot of progress, and we do expect to have both of these stimulus packages done really, really soon. Now, all of this comes as Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer gave Democrats and Republicans a deadline of the first week of August to get this infrastructure plan done. And currently, as of recording this video, it is Saturday, July 31st, and the first week of August is approaching. As you can see, the first week of August is colored in blue. That means that the Senate is going to be in session but the House has already been sent on vacation. Now, this deadline of the first week of August does seem to be putting pressure on Democrats and Republicans because they want to go on vacation, not just to relax and enjoy their free time, but they also use this time to fundraise. And the more they fundraise, the bigger their chances of getting reelected. So really, this time off is not just to relax. It really gives them time to go fundraise. And in their eyes, it really is important for their job security. So Chuck Schumer giving them this deadline, telling them, hey, if you don't get it done by the first week of August, you're not going on vacation. That tactic does seem to be working because we've had a lot of progress on this infrastructure plan. And again, once this infrastructure plan is done, we expect it to take three to four weeks to then get the stimulus plan done, the American Family Stimulus Plan. So we could expect to have that done hopefully by the end of September if we're lucky. In my opinion, I personally think we're going to get this infrastructure plan done at the beginning of September, and then we'll have the American Family Stimulus Plan sometime by the end of October. Just my opinion. I know it's entirely too long, and we need these stimulus payments more quickly, but guys, we all know that Congress takes entirely too long. So let's do a quick update on what exactly is going on with the stimulus negotiation, and then we'll talk about this new proposal, which could give you a $4,000 stimulus check. But first, let's talk about Mitch McConnell. Now, Mitch McConnell has actually surprised a lot of people because he's came out and publicly supported President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure bill. If you guys have been following me since the first stimulus check, then you already know that Mitch McConnell is known as the Grim Reaper, and he has even been called the self-proclaimed Grim Reaper. He's proud of this title. And this is why the Senate used to be called the place where bills go to die, basically a cemetery for bills, because Mitch McConnell would never approve anything unless it only specifically benefited Republicans. This is why a lot of people were surprised when he came out and actually supported this bipartisan infrastructure bill, and he actually voted to approve it. Now, all of this goes back to what we talked about when President Biden first got elected. First of all, President Biden ran on bipartisanship. He said he genuinely wanted to work with Republicans. He wanted to end the political divide, bring the country together and bring Congress together to do what's best for the American people. Now, so far, we have not had a lot of bipartisan work. So this infrastructure bill would be a huge breakthrough, especially if they can get Mitch McConnell and Republicans on board to work together with Democrats and would be a huge step in the right direction and show that at least on one thing, President Biden is doing what he said he would do. He is trying to work with Republicans 
end the divide that we have in this country and come together to do what's best for the American people. We also talked about at length that Mitch McConnell has a long history of getting deals done with President Biden. When President Biden first got elected, we said this would be really, really good news for stimulus for various reasons, because President Biden wanted to do a third and fourth stimulus check. He supports monthly checks for families. He supports monthly checks for Social Security, but also because he had a really, really good relationship with Mitch McConnell. Now, of course, we still have political theater. We still have showboating going on where Mitch McConnell says his job is to block anything that President Biden wants to do. And that a lot of that is just showboating. A lot of that is Mitch McConnell pandering to his base and pandering to the Republican voters to make sure that they know that he still sticks up for Republican voters. But at the same time, like we've talked about for months, Mitch McConnell has a history of getting deals done with Biden. Biden was in the Senate for decades, and he got a lot of deals done with Mitch McConnell. And then Biden spent eight years as the vice president. And it was known that throughout those eight years, anytime they wanted to get a deal done with Republicans, Mitch McConnell said, get Biden on the phone and let's get this deal done. Not only that, they also have a history of mutual respect. When President Biden's son passed away, Mitch McConnell was the only Republican that went to the funeral. Now, you don't go to another man's family funeral unless you genuinely have mutual respect for this person. So guys, this relationship between Mitch McConnell and President Biden is something that we've talked about for months. We said this would be good for stimulus, and now it finally seems to be coming to fruition. Remember, the reason we want this bipartisan plan is because that is the easiest path to then getting the American Family Stimulus Plan done. It is the path of least resistance to do a physical infrastructure plan with Republicans and then focus on solely approving stimulus in the American Family Stimulus Package. Otherwise, if they had to include physical infrastructure in the American Family Stimulus Plan, the negotiations on that bill would become really, really complex, and we'd be sitting here for another year just trying to hammer out the American Family Stimulus Plan. So overall, this is really, really good news. So all of the major headlines are reporting that Mitch McConnell is on board with this physical infrastructure plan. And MSNBC actually had a really, really good video recapping exactly why they think Mitch McConnell is agreeing to this package. So let's take a look, see what they had to say. Then we'll discuss the details and what we expect to happen next with the stimulus package, as well as this proposal for $4,000 stimulus checks, which could actually be $8,000 for a married couple. We are keeping a close eye on Capitol Hill, where we are just a few hours away from the next big Senate vote on that trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure plan. And even though there are several steps to go, there's a growing sense that it could actually get passed in the Senate with a bunch of Republicans, even Mitch McConnell himself, potentially signing on. I don't know if I believe that. NBC national political reporter Sahil Kapoor has been all over this. Sahil, according to what you have learned, Is McConnell really going to give Biden a win? Like, let's be clear. The vote that has happened already is just procedural. The text hasn't even been written yet. He's got all sorts of outs. That's right, Stephanie. It is for real in the sense that Mitch McConnell is not working to kill this deal. That is according to many Republican sources we've talked to. It is uh, also true, according to some Democrats who are surprised by the fact that he's voting uh, to move forward with this deal, and he appears to have given his Republican members the green light to support it. Now, why is he doing this? Why is the self-styled Grim Reaper allowing a Democratic president to potentially get a victory? And the reason is this is a major release valve on two fronts. There are moderate and retiring Republicans in the Senate uh, caucus who want to actually do some big things and not just obstruct. That includes Rob Portman, who's in uh, legacy building mode. This is a way for them to achieve something. There is also the incentive for McConnell that he wants to preserve the filibuster. This gives moderate Democrats like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema the talking point they want to go back to the left and say, see, the Senate works. We don't actually have to change the rules. Beyond that, Stephanie, uh, infrastructure is a politically safe space. It is popular. Nobody really hates it. Now, former President Donald Trump still the de facto leader of the party in many ways has been dumping on this deal in numerous statements this week, but a Republican senator tells me that has had almost zero impact on the Senate caucus and its negotiations and the vote. So there we are. It's a way for McConnell to do something, to get his members, uh, to make his members happy, and potentially to deny the left some victories in the long haul. So let's say it gets through the Senate. What happens in the House? 
it faces a very steep climb in the House on, uh, for a number of reasons. Firstly, there are many progressives who say they will not support this infrastructure deal in the House unless it is paired with this separate multi-trillion dollar economic safety net expansion. There's also the fact that a key House Democrat, Peter DeFazio, the chairman of the Transportation Committee, does not like this deal at all. I spoke to uh, Congressman DeFazio yesterday, and he said, based on what he has seen, there's not enough money for transit. There is not enough money for rail. He doesn't like the fact that this is a highway-centric bill that, according to him, does not do much to combat climate change. And House Democratic leadership sources I've talked to insist that they will make sure DeFazio's work is reflected in this, and the House imprint is on this. So the fate of this is very much tied in to the fate of that multi-trillion dollar bill that, by itself, will be very difficult. Okay, so on the one hand, we have really good news. Mitch McConnell and Republicans are basically fully on board to get this bipartisan infrastructure package done. Then we have reports that Nancy Pelosi will not vote for the infrastructure bill unless they simultaneously pass the American Family Stimulus Plan. So Nancy Pelosi wants both things to get done at once, but Republicans are saying we can't do both at once because then it looks like we're endorsing Democrats' stimulus package. So Republicans are saying we'll do this, but behind closed doors, they're telling Democrats do the American Family Stimulus Plan a little bit later. So this is kind of causing an issue. We're almost in a game of chicken between Democrats and Republicans, and we'll have to wait and see. Will Nancy Pelosi back down and approve the infrastructure package first and then work on the American Family Stimulus Plan? Or will Republicans back down and allow Democrats to approve both at the exact same time? Now, all of this is coming as Mitch McConnell continues to slam Democrats for trying to approve more stimulus. He is telling the American people that Democrats' plan to approve more stimulus is actually causing inflation. And he said that Democrats' rampant spending has already fueled painful and massive inflation. And now they want to ram through another $3.5 trillion reckless taxing and spending stimulus package. That's the opposite of what this recovering economy needs right now. Let's take a look and see exactly what Mitch McConnell said regarding more stimulus and the fact that he thinks it's going to cause more inflation. All Republicans are going to oppose the reckless taxing and spending spree, which amounts to at least, they claim, three and a half trillion. You claim, and you're probably more accurate, a lot more than that. This just isn't good for the country. Uh, you could say the same thing about the $1.9 trillion so-called rescue package. They already passed on a straight party line vote earlier this year. Uh, you, you remember Larry Summers said, we're flooding the economy with money. We're going to create rampant inflation. Well, we have created rampant inflation already. We've sent down to state and local governments huge amounts of money that they're not quite sure what to do with, and that's something that is already in the pipeline. And now they want to add three and a half to five trillion dollars more on top of it. It's wildly inappropriate for the country, completely out of out of sync with what this recovering economy needs, right? So that's basically Mitch McConnell's arguments. He thinks that all of this inflation is caused by stimulus. Democrats say it's just a short-term phenomenon because the economy is reopening after the pandemic closed down the economy. Now, all of this is coming as Democrats are pushing for a new stimulus payment, which would give $4,000 for every single adult making less than $90,000 per year and $8,000 for a married couple. This is essentially a child tax credit, but for adults, and it is in the form of the earned income tax credit. Now, similar to the child tax credit, this is something that has always been in effect for many, many years, but Democrats want to expand it by raising it to $4,000 per year and expanding it to those who make $90,000 per year and don't have to have children. They're removing that requirement to have children. And some people are even saying that Democrats would pay this out via a monthly stimulus payment, just like they're doing the monthly child tax credit. Now, guys, this is just a proposal, but this proposal is gaining a lot of steam. This idea was recently brought up by Wisconsin Representative Gwen Moore, who introduced what she calls the Worker Relief and Credit Reform Act. This was actually first introduced in 2019, and she just recently reintroduced it this week and is trying to include it in the American Family Stimulus Plan. 
Now, the best thing about this credit is that it's refundable, meaning even if you don't pay taxes, a lot of people say, hey, I'm on Social Security benefits or I don't make a ton of money, so I don't pay taxes to begin with. So how am I going to get this tax credit? Well, this is the really good news about how this works. You don't have to make any income or pay any taxes. And similar to the stimulus checks, you would just receive this as a refund. And again, anybody making less than $90,000 per year would qualify and would give you $4,000 per year. So if Democrats got this done and actually paid it via a monthly payment, that would be $333 per month which honestly is even better than that monthly social security stimulus that Democrats have been promising for months. So guys, things are getting really, really interesting. And there is still a lot of stimulus to come, so don't forget to subscribe. I will keep you posted as things develop. Will Democrats and Republicans get this physical infrastructure plan done this week? And then will they quickly do the American Family Stimulus Plan? And could it potentially include this $4,000 stimulus payment for adults who make less than $90,000 per year? We'll have to wait and see. But the good news is... Democrats continue to propose more stimulus and continue to work towards getting more money in the American people's pockets. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will keep you posted on the next two stimulus packages, social security changes, and daily news updates as well. And until the next video, take care and have a great day.